Well, what a result that is for Liam Davis. The smile says it all. He's the IBO Super Bantamweight Champion, and that, Becky, was destructive. Oh, that was incredible to watch from up here. Liam Davis really is the real deal. What a statement that was, Carl. Big, big, big statement. I think that going into this fight, we all kind of talked about it, thinking it was a bit of a 50-50. Certainly, we all believed it was going to go long. Yeah. But we didn't think it was going to be a blowout like that. Robles can fight. He's a really good fighter. We've seen what he's done to Lee McGregor, who's another really good fighter. And Liam Davis has just blown him away. Blown him away. What That uppercut that landed... I mean, it was like an uppercut left hook. The left hook kind of just hit him on the way down. Perfect shot. He's asleep when he goes down. When yeah. he, he actually wakes up when he hits the ground. And that was ringside in Edinburgh for that fight last summer with McGregor. And that was grueling. And listen, I'm not saying I fancied Robles to win, but there was no way I saw that. No. And that was a perfect finish, a perfect knockdown. A, a right kind of shot. Not catching him on the back of there, not catching him exhausted catching him early and clean with a great shot. That was a statement, Carl. The roof pretty much came off this place oh. when that happened. The crowd are absolutely lapping this up indeed. Right, I think we could go down ringside where hopefully J.D. Dyer has got hold of Liam Davis in the celebrations. This man just came and sat next to me and I, you said to me, Destiny, you think about your full circle moment where you started to where you now have gold around your waist and him screaming, Telford, Telford, Liam Davis. Tell me how you're feeling right now. Yeah, it's a blessing, man. Had my debut in Birmingham. I've just become world champion. My first of many world titles in Birmingham. I've had a great fan base from the start. You can see on near them tonight, they're out and loud. So I want to... Say thank you for all travelling down. Respect to Eric Robles. I beat a proper champion there. He's been out sparring in New Way. He beat um, some good fighters on his way, do you know what I mean? So uh, this is the start of a massive 2024. I feel like I need to ask you a question. If this is the start of a massive 2024, how far can this guy go? You see the fan base. You see what he's delivering on the big stage. What he's doing in the ring, what counts, and what he does in the ring. You look at his British, Commonwealth, European, and now this. Everything he's done and done it in style. And that was a world class finish, world class performance. And think of the fight with Lee McGregor, where everybody was, you know, was raving about. He done a job tonight. That is, uh, I can't tell you how exciting that was. That was a brilliant performance. I feel like I can give you a full circle moment. We sat down a couple of days ago and you told me what it would mean to your grandfather and to your father to sit here with a world championship belt across your, your waist at this moment. And I want you to embrace that moment and tell me what this means to you. Yeah, I'm going to go straight to the grave tonight. I kept saying in my head, man, that my granddad started this off. He never told a lie. He said I can be world champion. And I proved it tonight. I love him very much. And... Yeah, I'm blessed. I want to thank TNT. Like, since I've been on here with Frank and Queensbury as well, George, my life's turned around, you know what I mean? And I'm very grateful. I'm just a council kid from an estate, you know what I mean? Of hard, a hard, who's worked hard and just had this massive dream from the start. And now I'm turning it into reality. So I'm blessed, man. Honestly, I'm blessed. I'm going to end it the same way we started it. It's destiny. Go and enjoy your moment, man. Thank you. Oh, 